the centerpiece of that, so it's interesting enough to note on the first drive that he attacked him in space. On first down, love it. Another slice through this defense inside the 25, and John Lovett into about the red zone. On Wants to be a point guard back there and distribute it to his quartet. we got to get into those guys and talk about them, but we can't with all this rushing they're doing. Morgan Ellison snaps one off across the 50-yard line into Renegade territory. And this is just tough-nosed football right now from A.J. Area. These throws get a little faster. Dormady pats the ball right down the middle end zone. Touchdown, Alizé Mack. His third catch of the year, his second touchdown of the year. Last year in control of this offense. Play action, he'll step up and launch. Oh. Down the field, middle of the field, right on target. Touchdown, Javante Payton. It took eight seconds to get in. Lenny Brown, the toss, pitch it back the other way for Vaughn's. Tyler Vaughn's palming the ball, and now he has it stripped and eventually picked up, going the other way. Here comes San Antonio looking for two. It is Corey Mayfield Jr. out of bounds inside the five. <laughs> Tyler Vaughn's. He's going to throw on second and nine. Oh. It's popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Miles Dorn. What in the world? Oh, wow. Man. I thought you're going to run. I thought you're going to get a run for sure there. I mean, one word, Mark. Why? Yeah, that one. That one really threw me, but there's double coverage over to the left. He tried to back shoulder Kirkland. You see the ball gets tipped up. And we got problems <laughs> if you're San Antonio. Turn into 297 and go down to a tackle. Here's Roundtree. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Stallions. Not a bad debut drive for Larry Roundtree. I tell you, that first run was... Martinez to the air, looking for the end zone. It's Sternberger with the touchdown. What a toss, what a grab, and the Stallions stretch the lead. Hop out. Nice job there to get a little something out of nothing. Second down and six, sent it back to the air, floats it down the sideline, a jump ball, and the grab is made by Kiki Chisholm. Outstanding catch. And the Roughnecks move the chains. You see Birmingham trying to combat those short throws by playing tighter bump coverage. So they bring the aggressive coverage up in the face of the wide receiver. you got to win over the top, and Kiki Chisholm is able to do that. He's 6'4", 204. Third and 13. Sinnott with pressure again. Throws, and it is intercepted. Picked off by JoJo Tillery. Working up the sidelines. Tillery with blockers down the sideline, and he pulled his hamstring. Got the first. Sinnott looking down the sideline for Kiki. Chisholm makes the adjustment. Chisholm with the touchdown grab. Outstanding catch from Kiki Chisholm. Oh, what a catch. I can't believe he brought this one in. It was kind of in between a back shoulder throw and trying to throw it out in front with touch. And he goes out and he gets that with his left hand and it looked like he brought it all the way back. There's the fighting and then he goes, there you go, left hand. Now does he catch that one before it hits the ground? It looks like he does. What a catch. That's incredible stuff from Kiki Chisholm. On this third down and 10 for A.J. McCarron. Pressure comes, McCarron toward the end zone for Butler, and a touchdown! <laughs> St. Louis is on the board first on the road in D.C. You hear a call like that, and you know Greg Williams. Unfortunately, you have to go to your second and third read, unavailable. That's actually one of the things, oh, blocked! Brooks has it blocked! Pops up in the air, Keelan Kennedy got a piece of
Johnson in on the recovery, and Nico Bolden with the block, and another momentum swing for St. Louis. People say that defense wins championships. I'd argue special teams wins championships. Look at Nico Bolden signed five days ago on the inside pressure. Gets the pump block. They missed it last week. They got it this week. Oh, let's go! Yeah! Yeah! They go! Inside of 20 seconds to go. Quick release. It's Kelvin Harmon. Tries to make a man miss, and a stiff arm. Harmon's got a touchdown! A one-man wrecking crew! Mr. Third Down, Mr. Big Pin One, has the football in the hands of A.J. McCarron. Down the sideline for Butler to high point it and break free! Hakeem Butler looking back at 80 yards to the house. When you have a receiver of the caliber of Hakeem Butler, you may not need an offensive line. This dude is an animal. Eight receiving touchdowns last year in the XFL. Led the entire XFL. This year, he's picking up where he left off. Perfectly placed ball by A.J. McCarron, but Akeem Butler is stepping up with the absence of his other receivers like Darius Shepard. Wants his guys to keep it classy. Jacob Sailors up the middle, getting a push. Touchdown. It's a St. Louis onslaught in D.C. And the over hits as well, thanks to Jacob Sailors. Yes! But whether it's him, whether it's DJ Swearinger, some of these players, wow. That is a block and then some on the punt, and it's picked up off the recovery and taken inside the 10 by Quinterio Cole. Chris Garrett got to Paxton Brooks, and this is a demolition. Ready, ready, son. On first down, oh, gaping hole for Hills, going airborne and down near the six yard line. First and goal for the Panthers. A really nice job by this offensive line. They're gonna get going this way, and then you got the peel back from the tight end. That's number 80, Cole Hicatini. And then how about West Hills? That is a gaping hole right down the middle of the defense, and then he tries to hurdle the second level. Devin, I don't know about that, right? I mean, maybe lower your shoulder. You go up and watch ready, football ready, and kind of no football. Oh, almost. <laughs> there we go. Here he Big is. hole. Cut back. Colburn on the run. Diving for the touchdown. Number 26, Matthew Colburn on the carry. Tackle. What's that? Second and nine, Williams. Target on the right side is Daywood Davis. The ball is stripped out and recovered by Michigan. Noah Dawkins up the sideline. On the run, Williams the last man to get him, and he trips him up inside the 10. I would have as well, especially the way your defense is played today. Williams up the sideline and room to run for Daywood Davis. Steps out of a tackle and Davis with a shocker for the Showboats. 82 yards to the house and Memphis right back in this ball game. Boot right, so here comes the quarterback. At length, off the play fake, going deep. Down the middle, looking for it all, and a beautiful strike to Cole Hicatini. Down at the three, first and goal, Panthers. I'd say I think it's loosened up the box just a bit and allowed them to get through. Speaks got through. Williams somehow slips away, buying time, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kai Nakua, his third interception of the year.